it's a Jew thief tutorial. Uh, we will go over uh, what parts you need to actually make one and how it works. So what parts do you need for this uh, particular circuit? Well, it, you need a 1.5 volt battery. Okay. You will need a inductor. You can wind one yourself or you can use one you can find on a circuit board somewhere, okay? All right. Uh, we also need an LED, which goes right here. You will need a resistor uh, for this particular circuit with uh, uh, the transistor we are using. Uh, the best value is 480 ohms. Works very well. But if you are using a different transistor, you may ch uh, change your value or even use a variable resistor or potentiometer. Uh, so we are using uh, 2N. 2222 transistor a very basic one you can pretty much find anywhere or you can use something bigger 2N3055 uh, for more higher power applications okay so uh, um, I will just put it all together and uh, yeah we have our circuit working and I will show it to you up close. Um, in a second. So uh, as you can see here, uh, we have our uh, resistor connected directly uh, to the base and uh, one of our coals goes directly to our resistor. Uh, we have our positive on the center top there, negative there, and uh, the other side of the coil simply connects to our collector. So you can probably hear uh, the circuit go. If, if it makes a sound, you know it's working. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, what I'm gonna do next is I will uh, show you some stuff uh, on the uh, on oscilloscope. And uh, I will actually explain uh, why the circuit works. Hey guys, so uh, what we have here is I have connected uh, my two oscilloscope probes. As you can see, uh, we have a blue and a red connected to our circuit. Okay. So uh, what we have here is our blue, which is uh, right here. This guy is connected to our uh, collector and the red one's connected to our base uh, through our resistor. So technically we're connected across uh, our coil. Uh, that's uh, really what we need. So now let's get uh, to uh, the way uh, this circuit actually works. So now if you uh, take a look uh, at uh, my oscilloscope, <clears throat> we can see two signals. Uh, both of them are um, two volts uh, peak to peak. So as you can see, that's zero volts here, and that's zero volts here, channel one, channel two. Okay, so I turn on my channel one. Uh, this is our uh, base, uh, uh, and uh, this is our collector. So what we can see uh, that uh, this is, oh, my switch in my oscilloscope decided to go crazy. Uh, so what you can see here is uh, it's low, high, and then low. So it's pretty much a square wave and uh, that's what we would expect from a Jew thief uh, without any capacitors. Now <clears throat> what you can see here is it's low right here. And the reason why it's low is uh, the transistor is actually conducting and uh, there is no voltage across it when it's actually conducting. So uh, what we see here is when the transistor starts to conduct uh, the voltage spikes in the other coil <clears throat> and uh, when the core gets saturated uh, there's enough uh, voltage to turn the transistor off so that's what we see here turns off suddenly and then we see that big big spike across our emitter collector so that's what's actually driving the LED 
So uh, the battery has 1.5 volts, uh, it's been uh, quite a discharge, uh, it's probably about um, 1.4 or 1.3 volts at the moment, so it's clearly not our battery voltage, because we are at uh, 2 volts per division. So uh, it spikes about uh, 2 point uh, 2 volts there so that's our forward uh, voltage of our LED so that's expected okay so when uh, uh, the transistor closes we get that spike okay then uh, the LED consumes all of uh, the energy stored in the inductor and once uh, all of that happens uh, the cycle starts again and it oscillates all right so Hopefully uh, that was helpful. Hopefully uh, this helps you uh, to understand how the circuit works. All right, guys. So uh, that's about it for today. Uh, if you like my video, please uh, leave a like. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, so you know when a new video comes up. Peace.